Bonjour à tous. Today we are going to learn how to say my, your, his, her, all these things in French. That is adjective possessive. So let's get started. So first of all, what are possessive adjectives? They are used with the nouns to talk about the possession of a person or a thing. For example, if I'm talking about this pen and if I want to say my pen. So this my that is possessive adjective. If I want to say your pen. So your that is possessive adjective. His pen, her pen, all these are possessive adjectives. So how are we going to use the possessive adjectives in French? To understand that, first of all, let's come to Hindi. So in Hindi, if I'm talking about this pen. So in Hindi, what is the gender of this pen? Pen yaha rakha hai. Masculine, right? Whereas if I talk about this pencil, then what is the gender of this pencil? Pencil yaha rakhi hai. Feminine, right? Perfect. So now if I want to say my pen in Hindi, that is going to be mera pen. And my pencil is going to be meri pencil. So mera, masculine, meri, feminine. So do you see the difference over here? In English, both the things are my pen, my pencil. But in Hindi, it is mera pen and meri pencil. So similarly, in French as well, we are going to use all the possessive adjectives on the basis of the gender of our nouns and not on the basis of our subjects. It doesn't matter what is my gender. I can be masculine, I can be feminine. It really doesn't matter. What matters is what is the gender of my pen or my pencil. All right. So let's see. Over here is the chart for saying my. For all the masculine nouns, it is more. For feminine, it's ma. And for plural, it's me. This is mo, ma, me for my. For your, it is to, ta, te. For his, her and its. All the three are going to remain the same only. Why so? Because we are looking at the gender of our objects, things, right? Not the gender of our subject. So it's going to be so, sa, se. For R, it's notre, notre, no. For your, it's votre, votre, vo. And for their, it's leur, leur, leur. Alright? Same pronunciation of all these three in Latin. So let's see once again. It's mo, ma, me, to, ta, te, so, sa, se. So, sa, se. So, sa, se. Notre, notre, no. Votre, votre, vo. And leur, leur, leur. Alright? Okay. Now in this, we have an exception as well. If a feminine noun starts with a vowel or a silent H, then it will be followed by masculine possessive adjectives. So it really doesn't matter that what is the gender of all the objects which are starting with a vowel. For example, Odinata, Ekol, Opital, all these things. It really doesn't matter whether they are feminine or masculine. They are always going to be followed by masculine determinants. That is mo, to, so, no, tru, vo, tru, and lur. Okay. So the example of this can be monikol, monami. And why do we do so? Just because it sounds better in French. Alright, so it's monikol and not maikol. Even though ekol, that is feminine in gender, still we are going to use monikol. Monami. Here we are talking about a female friend. So technically if we see, it should have been maami, M-A. But we are going to use monami. Why? Because it's starting with a vowel. Let's see a few other examples. Your car. How am I going to say your car? I'm talking about your car. Car in French is voiture. And that is feminine in gender. So we are going to use ta voiture. Alright? Ta voiture. My bags. Bags. Plural. That is sack. So we are going to use me sack. 
M E S, the plural determinant. Mesak. Their dress. Dress, that is khob. We are going to use leg khob. Alright? Leg khob. His car. Now I am talking about his car. Alright? So we are going to focus over vachyuk and not his. So it's going to be sa vachyuk. Let's say if it would have been her car. Her car again will be sa vachyuk. Why? Because we are going to focus over the gender of vachyuk and not the gender over the person. His or her doesn't matter. We are going to focus over the gender of vachyuk. Just like how in Hindi we do. In Hindi, if I want to say his car, that will be uski car. If I want to say her car, that is also going to be same. Uski car. Right? Same thing in French as well. Dash, pech, pal, a, dash, mech. My father is talking to my mother. So father, what is the gender of father? Masculine. So we are going to use Mo pech pal a ma mech. Next, their friends are in my school. So we have to focus over their friends. Friends, plural. There's ami son don mon école. Here we are going to use leurs because it is plural. Ami, that is plural. And in the end we have used mon école. Why? Because a coal is starting with a vowel. Then here, her daughter is your friend. Safiya e tonami. Tonami. Why tonami? Because again, ami is starting with a vowel. Thus, we are going to use the masculine determinant. Tonami. Trebia. Of course, French is incomplete without exceptions. So again, we have one more exception. Note that possessive adjectives are normally not used with the body parts. We use l, la, l apostrophe or lay with them. What do I mean by body parts? For example, my hand, my head, my throat, my face, anything like that. Our hands. Alright, with all these, we are not going to use possessive adjectives. Let's see a few examples. I have a cap on my head. J'ai une casquette sur la tête. Sur la tête. Tête, that is feminine in gender. Thus, I am going to use la along with it. You have a glass in your hand. That is going to be vous avez un verre à la main. Alright, it's a la ma. In for in we have used a la ma. Ma that is again feminine. That is why we are going to use la along with it. Three bia. I hope this topic was clear with you all and I would love to see a few of the examples in the comment box below. And if you'd like the video, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated for the future videos. A bianto.